Hello and welcome to the ninth video. In this video we're going to be looking at how to import the scanner class so we can start getting the information from the user and putting it in variables. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the key points you need to remember. And then what I like to do is try to consolidate that information by giving you questions for you to answer. So let's get straight or let's get started and looking at those key points straight away. So to get user input, the two most important things you have to remember are that we need to use the system class method that we learned from the last video and we need to use the scanner class. So to get the scanner class, we to get the scanner class, we actually need to import the scammer the scanner library. So we actually have to say import at the very top of our Java. We have to say import Java util dot scanner, and this will allow us to create a scanner. To create a scanner, we need to do the same structure as creating any object. So again, we're creating this scanner object, and then this is the name, so we can call it anything. Then we need to say new and then the scanner class, which should be the same name as that. And then in that bracket, we need to use that system class with the input method. So that allows us to create a scanner where we can get input. Once we've created that scanner object, then we can start using the methods to get information from the user. So for example, this is the object that allows us to get information from the user. If we wanted to get a string from the user, we would say object.nextLine. If we wanted to get an integer, we will say object.nextInt. If we wanted to get a single character, we would say object.next. And then we would say, what from what uh, position do we want that character from that string? So we can actually input uh, a single character from a string. Lastly, if you just open the the scammer, uh, the scanner, you will have an issue with memory. There will be a problem because you will have to close that scanner object after you finish with it. However, this can create if issues if you want to create multiple scanner objects. So we're going to be learning how to deal with that in later videos. Okay, so now you know the key points. Try and use that information to answer the questions. So each question or these questions refer to the code on the left. So pause the video and see how many you can answer. So hopefully you've paused the video. Let's look at question one. So the three errors. So the first error, you can see that there's a red line under a scanner, which means that um, it, we cannot create this object because we don't have that class. So what we need to do up here is we need to put that import dot Java no sorry import Java dot util dot scanner so we need to put that import one. Second of all, if we look at there, we've created the object, and the object goes over here. However, the method is not next line under a uh, lowercase; it's next line uppercase. So that L is should be changed to an uppercase one. Lastly, the issue will be there will be an error because we have to close this. So we need to close this object by saying object because that's the name of the object and then just close. And that will close the object and that will stop all the errors. In code two, the data types for the variables have been removed. Um, can you add the correct data types based on the user inputs? Okay, so even we've got input, input 2, input 3, that's the variable's name. So remember this next line, because you can see here, the capital L, this should be a string because it allows us to store, it's asking for text from the user. This one, int, it's asking for a number. So we want to put int there. Next one, we're saying input the string and then get the fourth character from that, or the fifth character from that. So we're only going to get one character. And because we only get one character, it can be a char. 
Uh, in code three, there is a problem with the scanner object. What is the problem? Okay, so we're actually missing out something here. And like all objects, when you're creating it, you have the data type, which is the scanner object, the scanner, the your object's name, and then you need that new keyword. So we need to say new scanner, and then that would work. So assuming that all the code is now correct, how many objects have we created? Um, so we would have created one object here. Uh, and we would have created another object here. So we've got one object and then we've got the other one, my object. So we would create two objects. So before we stop the video, let's see how much knowledge you can remember. So if you can remember what the four main steps to get input from the user, I would say that you've got, you can remember a good amount of knowledge from this video. If you can remember at least three methods that we can use once we created that scanner object, I would say you would have even a better understanding. If you can explain why we must close the scanner object, then you probably have the best that you can get from watching this video. So if you can answer this uh, question, leave the answer in the comments. Um, if you found that this was useful, please subscribe to the, the channel and like the video. In the next video, what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to be doing an MTA mock exam that I created. And then we're also going to be doing some coding labs for the MTA practice exams. So see you in the next video.